What up, y'all? So last week, I told y'all a little bit about my experiences with depression and PTSD, and I definitely appreciate the support. That was love. Everybody reaching out, you know, well wishes and, and saying congratulations on, on the um, just battling and keeping it going and growth. This episode, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of believing in yourself as you take on your struggles. Depression and anxiety and all of that mental and emotional anguish can literally hit anyone at any time. So let's get this message out there, please. If you don't suffer from mental health issues, this will also help you be more confident and focused on now. Let's get into it. What up, family? It's your favorite coach, Javon Wooden. Javon Wooden. Javon Wooden from Live Not Low. Don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Live Not Low. Follow me on IG and Facebook at Live Not Loathe. I'm dropping videos every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and every Sunday at noon Eastern Time. For can't miss content on how you can obtain your purposeful and fulfilling life. Unfortunately, so many of us in the black community know all too well that self-worth isn't something that's really focused on. Sure. Our parents or somebody probably told us we were handsome or beautiful, or maybe you've heard that you're smart or funny, but what if you don't believe it? Here's a shocking statistic. It's estimated that about 85% of people in the world have low self-esteem. That's right, in the world. I say this all the time and I'm going to say it again. Our problems aren't unique, but how we handle them is. While I was at my lowest point a few years back, you couldn't tell me anything positive and have me truly believe you. Now, of course, like many of us, especially us black men, I didn't want to tell anyone that I thought of myself as this damaged, ugly monster who had nothing left to give to the world. So I'd smile whenever someone complimented me. Then I'd keep it moving. But in my mind, I was thinking, if only they could see what I see in me. If only they could see the ugly. When in actuality, they seen the real me and I couldn't see it. This is what happens to so many of us as we silently go through these internal battles. We are portraying who we'd like to be to those who care about us or who are influential in our lives in some way. But that's so damn draining. Because we know we are lying to ourselves just to seem like everything is fine. When you can't see what you're worth, nothing else really matters. When you don't know that you are deserving and capable of a joyful, low stress, purposeful, fulfilling life, how can you envision being anywhere but in a pit of despair and misery? How can you be at your best? You can't. It's impossible. You're moving through life, but it feels like you're, you're trying to walk through, through quicksand. Each step you take in that down state feels like you're just sinking deeper and deeper. That is, until you decide to believe that it doesn't have to be that way. Now is when you can start taking some action towards changing your circumstances. It really wasn't until I was truly tired of feeling like shit that I went out and got help. Up until that point, I was just feeling sorry for myself because I felt guilty about being worthless. I was really painting a grim reality for myself because I just wanted that pain and that hatred to go away. I hate to tell y'all, but it doesn't just disappear magically. You have to go out there and start working intentionally. You're the hero in your story. And every hero needs a guy, just like every great player has a coach. You can't identify what you need to work on when you're in it. And you don't have the benefit of a, dis a different perspective without that help. If you really want to stop letting life happen to you, then you have to decide that you will do whatever it takes to start truly living. Understand that life isn't happening to you, it's responding to you. And if you want to become a better version of yourself, 
shoot me an email at the email address listed in the description or you can book a session on my website which is also linked in the description. Be sure to show some love to your boy. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all know the drill. I need to get this algorithm working on my, in my favor. Until next time, kings and queens, peace.